So let's see how to install Octane for a Blender. Uh, well, the first thing is that you need to have uh, the latest uh, NVIDIA Studio Driver. I recommend you the GeForce Experience software, which you can easily check for updates and install drivers. Uh, then you will need uh, the scene file, which you can download for free and is a scene for Blender where you have uh, a sample uh, fractal and um, it's supposed to work just because it's really simple and you can try it out for free um, and you will need a few things so a Blender Octane Edition and uh, the Octane Server Prime uh, once you you install those uh, you need to start octane server prime and a little icon here appears just right click and click on activation activate that you probably need uh, your um, to log in with your octane account or toy account and when when is activated just run octane blender addiction and then you can open your files. So let's open um, this one, for example. And um, you need to go in the preference just at the first time and search for um, Octane in add-ons and enable that. Then uh, you click this viewport shading button and you should see uh, your fractal render with uh, Octane. Uh, then there's a Vectron object, which is just a cube and here you can, it's just a material on the cube and here you can see all parameters and tweak them. Um, then there's another node about the coloring here and you can just tweak that. I'm not used to, to use Blender, but that's the simplest setup I, I've found. Uh, so you can change all parameters like angles here or you can change your kernel uh, where it is um, here kernel type so for example if you want to navigate around uh, I suggest you to go with the info channels and um, geometric normals so this is more real-time and you can see what you are doing while tweaking the formula.